Hello, everybody. Samara Rivera here with VivaLaRivera.com. We're at Monster with the world famous, the fabulous Miss Jessie Volt. How are you doing tonight, darling? Okay, Samara. How are you doing, baby? Thank you. Having a good night. You having a good night? Yes, yes. Sir, when do you work here at Monster? Every Wednesday night. We've been running about uh, 13 years now. We're in our 13th year of having the, the review, and it's a review every Wednesday night at 1130 downstairs in the belly of the beast, and there's no cover, and we get out free drinks and uh, um, shots all night. And we have a game show called The Wheel of Foreskin. And everybody's welcome to join. It's, you spin the wheel and there's a bunch of prizes and a $100 bill even given out every Wednesday night. So uh, it's, the show's been really good. I get to work with really great performers. Tonight's guests were from Canada. And, you know, so people come when they come in town. They call me, some friends I have, and they'll... And they'll work, come work in the city, so it's nice, yeah. So um, tell us, where else do you perform on a weekly basis? I'm at Lips, uh, at Lips Restaurant. Every Thursday night, we do a dinner with the Divas show. It's all lookalikes and uh, like a lacage type format, a Vegas type review. And then I work with Misunderstood Screaming Queens, that agency you've heard of, right? It's the, like the best in the nation, really, actually. And uh, she gets you work, you know, private parties. Also, you can get some film and TV work through that agency. So it's really great. Fabulous. Tell us, for all those um, new drag queens that want to dress up, they want to be, you know, as fabulous as you, what advice do you have for them? Well, I would just say be yourself, enjoy, don't let anybody tell you how to do your art or do your work or what to wear. If you want to put an eggplant parmesan on your head, put it on your head, whatever you feel. That's the one thing that I've always said. Whatever, you know, do, try to just be yourself and do music you love or whatever, even if it's performance art and it's drag performance art. Just to be yourself and have the most of all the advice is just have fun with it. Because if, if you don't have fun with it, why, right? <laughs> why do it? So that's my advice. What other projects? Do you have any other projects going on? What's going on with that? Well, I have a uh, website business called trainingear.com where you can get all your drag, anything that has to do with drag, from corsets, custom-made corsets, to custom-made costumes, wigs, a cosmetic line. There's a Jesse Vault JV Cosmetics and also other cosmetic lines. It's everything, petticoats, I mean, feathers, Sally Rand fans, anything you need, all underwear paddings, the silicone breasts, the silicone pads for the hips, so everything from start from A to Z in drag and get everything on training gear. Shoes, do you have big sizes? Shoes all the way up to like size 18, and also we may do custom shoes as well with the widths can go up to like quadruple E. So you can get like an 18, or 19 quadruple E if your if your foot was that big, so it's it's catered for the the, the um, drag queen, the cross dresser, you know anyone who wants to just no matter what size you are, you could get it going. Fabulous. What's the uh, website again so people get tranny gear t r a n n i e gear g e a r dot com. Perfect. Check it out, you guys. And lastly, is there any words you want to say to your fans out there in New York City, the world? I'm just so grateful to be working all these years and to have the opportunity to still be in the clubs and still be out and about and working. I didn't think I'd last this long, <laughs> but so 28 years in the business and still going. I'm very grateful for that and to work with amazing people and meet so many great people. And that's, that's the whole blessing. That's the, the best thing about it. And let me just say, she's fabulous and she's nice. She's a sweetheart, people. So come out and watch her show every Wednesday night at Monster in the Village. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Bye. Okay, guys, we're back, and we're with Miss Amanda Roberts, who's actually an international star, right, Miss Amanda Roberts? Where are you from? Oh, you can say that. I'm from Toronto, Canada, and uh, I come to New York quite a bit and perform here regularly, as well as some other places throughout the States, like Chicago, and uh, I just got back from England as well. So, so um, tonight you performed here at Monster. Tell us about your show that you did today. Especially the one that you're dressed up as now, Betty Davis. Yes, I just did a Betty Davis skit where I mix a lot of different uh, current music with dialogue from Betty Davis films that make it more fun because a lot of the young kids, they won't necessarily know who Betty Davis is, but they hear the songs and they like the gimmick to it and they think it's funny, so it all works. So. Perfect. Now, what other artists do you like to perform as? Oh, I do a lot. Uh, I like doing things that are crazy and wild more so. So I like doing like people like, um, I'll do like Alanis Morissette and Annie Lennox, but I also do like Madonna and Cher 
and Celine Dion. I've basically been accused if they're white that I will do them. And when you do a show, do you always impersonate the uh, artist or is it just kind of like anything goes? No, not always. In fact, I have one of the shows I do in Toronto. It's a one woman show and I do all requests and it goes for two hours long. So I basically am in one look for the whole night and the audience can pick anything. So I might be standing there in a gown doing Marilyn Manson. And then the next minute I'm doing And I'm Telling You. I never know. And I can be in some hoochie, hookery looking outfit doing some dramatic ballad. So you never know what might happen. But I'll do pretty well anything. But I like when I can for my look to fit the music. Well, that sounds fabulous and fun and different. Now tell us, um, what advice do you have for other drag queens that are starting out? Now, should a person, if someone looks like not good, tragic, should a person tell them or should they just like let them be? What do you think? I think you can tell people, but you have to find the right way to tell them. So you don't want to be mean and vicious, but really most people when they start look a little tragic. Unless you've got somebody putting you together perfectly, you're going to look tragic. And the ones who have somebody putting them together every time, they're just basically somebody's puppet. Until you start doing it yourself and really applying into it, you're not really a performer. You've got to put your own into it. And you're going to look bad to start, but you'll learn and you'll grow and you'll get better if you want to. If you have the heart and the desire to be in this business, you'll do it no matter what anybody tells you. So, where do you perform when you're back home in Canada? I'm at a bar called Cruise. It's on Church Street. I'm there twice a week. And I also manage the bar three days a week. So, you can either see me on stage or behind the bar. When you manage, are you dressed or undressed? Well, we wouldn't be undressed. That's just raw. <laughs> no, I uh, do my shows in character and I manage the bar out of character as my, okay. my alter ego. Now tell us some uh, famous Betty Davis words. Well, of course, the, uh, but you are Blanche. You are in that chair. So. Fabulous. You look fabulous as Betty Davis, and I'm sure as all the artists you do, you're fabulous. So thank you so much for uh, talking to us here at VivaLaRivera.com. Any websites or anything that we can find you at? It's AR, as in Amanda Roberts, ARLadyLike.com. Perfect. Check it out, guys. Okay, guys, we're here with another fabulous girl at Monster Wednesday Night Show, Morgan Royale. How you doing, darling? How are you? Nice to meet you. Good. Thank you. Now, listen, uh, tonight you performed uh, Mary J. Blige, right? You actually look like Mary J. Blige. What other artists do you perform? Well, I well, I'm currently work for Lips, and I'm in here in New York City. I just Diana Ross. Um, Tina Turner and also Mary J. Blige, you know, anything that just comes to my head, whatever this, it is talent. So I feel that whatever I can do to get the audience, I'm there. Now, where are you from? Where are you originally from? Where do you live? And where have you lived? Okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm a Southern girl. I'm originally from South Carolina. I reside right now in Newark, New Jersey. Um, and right now, I love, you know, just love being. I'm, I'm a spontaneous, spontaneous individual, so I have, have traveled around many places. But right now, I'm here in Jersey. The Jersey girl, yeah. give it up. Uh, yes, I'm from the Jersey girl. Yes. You know uh, what, the talent here, you know, always, I'm here in the city. I love the city, so I'm always here working. And, and I'm like, I, like I'm here at the Monster. Now tell us, uh, is there specific places that you're at every week that we can see you perform at? Well, at this moment, yeah, I'm, I'm at, like I said, Lips, the um, our drag queen restaurant here in the city. One of the top restaurants. Two Bank um, Street, right off 7th Avenue in Greenwich. I'm sorry. But I'm there on Thursday nights, on Friday nights, and on Sunday brunch. It's called Gospel Brunch. So if you love gospel, we're there. And when you're waitress and while you're eating, we have a wonderful show for you. Lips restaurant, so anybody can go to Lips restaurant. It's a family restaurant, or what? It's, it's a it open to uh, to the public. Um, it's a it is an adult restaurant, but we have kids that come with their sweet sixteens and they with their whole family. We have a lot of tourists, so this is where a lot of people like to come and have a good time. Fabulous. Now, is there anything else you want to say? Anything? Any new projects that you have coming? Currently, Miss Pennsylvania, USA. So I'm going to be traveling throughout the tri-state area, and I'm just going to just let God just do what He do. 
Fabulous. Well, thank you so much for taking the time and saying hi. Bye. 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 Bye.